Yellow. I'm Sam. Ryan. He's got some metal music for me to react to today as a pop fan. We've listened to some stuff that I have liked pretty much everything so far. And again, we have said before that my musical tastes overlap with his more than his do with mine. So um, we're just basically watching me enjoy music. <laughs> of course uh, you're enjoying it. I'm the one that chose it. It's good stuff. <laughs> He's not cocky about this at all. No. Um, so the band today I do know, and I have listened to one song of theirs before that I did like. Mm -hmm. So who are we listening to, to today, and why did you pick this song? So we've done King Diamond, right? And we had <laughs> the grand voice that is King Diamond. It's pretty um, awesome. We had Motorhead. We've had Pro Sanctus and Fury. We've explored some of the different versions. This is a version of metal that is, in my opinion, is called melodic, uh, melodic metal. And um, it don't let the, the melodic metal fool you. It's not... Dude, it's heavy, right? It's definitely still heavy. So for that, I chose the band Demu Borgir. And if you're not familiar with Demu Borgir... Oh man, just after watching this video, hitting the like and subscribe on there, you know, um, go listen to all of their stuff. It's all good. So, what was the last one we listened to? The music video for it is absolutely beautiful as well. Yeah. So, the last song that we listened to was called Gateways. Okay. Um, <clears throat> it's, it, there's a part in that song that, like, Whenever I'm going to a new job or mm -hmm. I, I need to hype myself up to to make sure that things are going to be like they're going to they're going to work. There's a term in there, be the broken or the breaker. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I really like that because you, it's your choice. But anyway, it's like sink or swim. <laughs> essentially, yeah. But it's a more metal way to say, <laughs> you know. Either do or do not. Be the broken or the breaker. There is no trap. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Cool. So, uh, and I did like that song. And, like, again, that music video is gorgeous. So go watch that after you watch all of this. <laughs> <laughs> all righty. So let's bring up the music video. Well, no, not the video, but let's bring up the little box. Mm. Okay, cool. So I'm going to go ahead and hit play. Ooh. Ooh. Right away. right off the bat just like boom like that's <laughs> yep sounds amazing yeah. um i feel like the vocals came in at a more natural place than the last two songs whereas you had king diamond it kind of came in out of nowhere like there was no like this is a natural spot for the lyrics to start mm -hmm. it just started and you're like oh gosh oh okay and then he hits you with that high-pitched scream that you're just not really ready for now i get that that's their style i'm not making fun i'm just saying it's different um and then you had Persanctus and fury with that really deep like intentionally you're not going to understand what i'm saying but if you want to you're going to figure it out whereas <laughs> this is in between those two things i can pick up on some words i can't pick up on all of them but the lyrics start at a natural place in the music yeah in the agree. instrumentals yeah it feels deliberate planned that's yeah, <laughs> a little. Yeah. It feels a little more like your traditional put together songs, mm. but this also has elements of like sounds like more classic metal and some modern. Like that sounds very. There's some very synth that synth oh, yeah. elements oh, yeah. coming in, oh, yeah. um, which you don't hear a lot of. Of course, being someone who's listened to this much metal out of this big of a pool, <laughs> um, it's something that I am not would not think mixes well, but they're doing it. Yeah. And it sounds great, so. Yeah. 
Nightwish. Like it sounds like because Nightwish has the has the um. Yeah. Keyboard. No, yeah, yeah. Tomas, yeah, he's really good with the that. It, it, it's very much like this is all European. Yeah. Right? Like I think these guys are from Norway. Nightwish is from Finland. So they're all dancing in the same pond or whatever you want to mm-hmm. say. So <clears throat> and it's, I'm not making a direct comparison to Nightwish. No. I'm just like it's just yeah. um I hear elements that are similar. That's all. Yeah. But what it really gets you thinking is who influenced who? Yeah. Which one was first? Mhm. You know. The chicken or the egg? Absolutely love that shift from like that darker, heavier to this brighter, like mm-hmm. almost ethereal sound. Um, yeah. They make those transitions sound uh, just really smooth from one to the other. Like it's it, that juxtap they juxtaposition. handle the juxtaposition um, very smoothly. Mm-hmm. I talk with my hands oh, a lot. I, I thought you were hitting. <laughs> I've said ethereal before, but it's a very, like, dark side of ethereal, um, where it's not demonic. Wrong, 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 wrong. But it's still bright. I don't know. I still feel like there's, like, a hopeful quality (laughs) to their music. Yeah, okay. You're wrong. Um, Instrumentally, because I can't understand what he's saying. (laughs) So the band Camelot did a song called um, March of Mephisto. Mm -hmm. And... Khan, who at the time was the lead singer of Camelot, wanted to have a growly vocal yet, you know, someone that you could understand to be in the video. And he thought, how funny would it be to ask Satan himself, which the lead singer of um, Demon Borg Gear is often referred to by other people as Satan because they're they're not exactly, you know, uh, a praise and worship band, if that makes any sense. Right, because... It- I guess what I'm trying to articulate, and it's it's kind of hard with metal and you're interpreting yeah. a l- more sound than lyrics because you can't always understand it. Mm-hmm. Um, it's it's like the anti-worship music. Not... Yeah. I can't... Art- I, it's really hard for me to articulate because it, it does have this quality of get on your knees, put your hands in the air. You know what I mean? It has yeah. a... 
that sort of makes your body want to do that, think, but not in like a praise and worship way. Yeah. Well, I mean, if you think about it too, like bands that are producing music that is not considered satanic. I mean, it might be, I, I don't know, but like, it's the opposite of that, right? Like they, they take the same things and all this stuff like that. I mean, so you have Gregorian chant type attitudes and mindsets in there. You have the, the, um, the choir aspect to with their albums. Like you can even hear people. It sounds like a choir in the background, mm -hmm. uh, almost angelic and stuff like that. So it's very, I mean, those are deliberate. You're feeling that because it is deliberate. Yeah. So. Yeah. yeah, there's a, a, like, very Mother Nature quality to it that I yeah. can't put my finger on. Mother Nature on. quality. That's I've never heard Dimu Borghi referred to as Mother Nature quality. <laughs> well, it's it's because it's not praise and worship, good or bad. It's we are living in this natural world. Praise what we have. Mm, I don't get any of that. But... <laughs> Listen, it's hard. It's it's hard to put words around how like my body's reacting to it maybe we should do another segment where we go and look at the song lyrics and meanings for some of these songs so probably a good it. idea because i am probably way off wrong demo Borgir fans are just like yeah. you dumb bitch <laughs> so wow <laughs> Man, i doubt it i mean you got to start somewhere yeah exactly so. uh but I, yeah my body's having a reaction to it that i just I can't put a reason. I'm trying to put That's a reason as to why. Serotonin. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's serotonin. I don't know. Endorphins. D dopamine. Drugs. No, I'm just kidding. Chemical balances. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we have this whole discussion around it's not good or bad. And it's like sort of worship the now. And then he's like, Satan. <laughs> yeah, I mean. Demo board gear is satanic. Is what it is. <laughs> but what's funny is I don't get that. Yeah. No, I yeah. Like I don't feel that. Yeah. I don't necessarily know. Here, here's here's how I kind of because I mean growing up conservative stuff like this would have shocked me to the core. Yeah. But um, gaps. I look at it as an alternative thought process to the conformist norm, and that is way too. You know, that's a very black metal response. But <laughs> at the same time, it's like, you know, just because things are always the way that you're used to hearing them doesn't mean that you can't hear the opposite mm -hmm. version of it. Take that as you will. Um, think of this band, satanic, not satanic, alternative, not alternative, however you want to take it. But, I mean, the direction is clear. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. And ultimately, it's art. Art is subjective. People are going to interpret it in different ways. Yeah. the speed up um you can hear so many influences to me from so many genres i feel like i i've heard some synth i've heard some hip-hop i've heard so, so it's just i'm hearing a little bit of everything and they blend it together very well and again those change-ups the the speed ups the slowdowns uh, is all just their shifts are handled so nicely. When you when you hear these artists talk about who inspired them, you are never quite ready yeah. for who 
they say inspired them to make this kind of music. In mm-hmm. fact, that would be a fun thing. Like, I'm not going to tell you who he said has inspired it. Like, not not you, but yeah. like the audience. I'm I mean, so curious. Definitely go look it up and see if you can find out who inspired uh, Demu Borgir. Because you're probably not ready for it. ABBA. Yeah. Uh, I think ABBA influenced a lot of Northern European music. Oh, well, yeah, that's true. Genres. Like we, we watch uh, Rumi Official and yeah. <laughs> we're just like, oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> Oh, that just ended. Okay, cool. Yeah, that ended kind of abruptly. That was a ride, though. <laughs> that was a ride. I really liked the the first song you ever, the Gateways. I liked that one, too. Yeah. I, I just. This one was Morning Place. I don't know if we mm-hmm. mentioned that earlier. But... Oh, yeah. I'm, I, I'm O-U-R-N. Um, so, like. As in morning. Um, your algorithm's going to be all messed oh, up after we're my done. Alg- some of the research we had to do for your channel, my algorithm's already screwed. Yeah. <laughs> That's fine. I don't care. With how much YouTube we watch will be fixed in a day. So, <laughs> so I understand what they're going for, but that is not what I feel mm-hmm. when I listen to it. Well, I think that's one of the beautiful things about music. I mean, it's... It's left up to interpretation what they, like, yes, there is a very specific direction that the artist and message that the artist is wanting to pre- to pre- uh, present, but at the same time, it's going to hit you differently, it's going to grab you in different ways, and you may go in a completely different direction based on what it is. Mm-hmm. The inspiration that caused the music may take you to another place, you know, it might have you think of something differently, so... I think that's one of the benefits of this style of metal is that you can really just go. Yeah, and I I like it a lot. I, I've overall really enjoyed what I've heard so far and been exposed to, and I look forward to more. Um, yeah, this is probably a band I could, I could definitely see coming up in my uh, Pandora. I put it on shuffle a lot. <laughs> so, um, um, yeah, I think my very first foyer into your metal preferences was uh, you had me put my Pandora on Corpaclani and just go to there because, you know, Pandora has the radio stations and it'll bring in things that are similar. Yeah. Um, I'm sure Spotify does the same thing. Uh, I'm probably one of the only other people out there that uses Pandora. I don't hear people using Pandora very often. Mm-hmm. So, uh, but it'll bring in. Genome Project what it was in the beginning was it (laughs) that's funny so it'll bring in music that's similar to what you have chosen to listen to and he said don't hit don't hit thumbs up or thumbs down on anything just Just let it play play. because you don't want to influence the algorithm and just sort of take note of the bands you like and don't like um and there's a lot that i ended up liking i think there was only one that i was like can't get into that and i can't remember who it was no i it was um um Oh, as as Miguel or something like that. Yeah, yeah. It was. A, they, they fancy themselves trolls, like Swedish trolls. <laughs> yeah, not trolls as in internet trolls, but <laughs> but um, living under the bridge trolls. Some of the bands that came up with Corpo Kalani was Turasas, um, which I I did enjoy <laughs> them. Um, Sabaton came up, which we've listened to them before. I like Sabaton. Uh, oh gosh. There's one T Y R tier. Tier, yeah. Um, tier. From the Pharaohs, yeah. Yeah, so the, a band that came up, and then of course I've, like I said in another episode, I really like the the pirate metal. So <laughs> Ale Storm just yeah. makes me laugh. That's a great band. So yeah, and that I I am excited about learning more. If you guys want to hear songs like her react to songs or metal songs that she's already heard, but you just want to hear them with us and commentating, then. Leave that in the comments, too. It doesn't have to be, like, brand new all the time. But. <laughs> and feel free to suggest songs we should listen to, either him or me, or even if both of us, that you think we've never heard. I would actually be curious for you to listen to some of the newer metal 
mm. um, that we are both unfamiliar with. So if there's something out there that's newer uh, that you don't think he's heard, you'll know damn sure that I haven't heard. <laughs> so I, I will warn you though that I've heard some newer metal, and I'm not a huge fan of a lot of it. So please do not be offended if I do not like it <laughs> or be offended. I don't care. So <laughs> again, it's art. Art is subjective, and yeah. we are not always going to like the same things like I do book reviews and people get offended if you don't like the same book that they like but it's okay because we're different humans with different tastes we are individuals not to mention it might not you but it might do some people some good to have somebody disagree with them that's very true so anyway we're not going to get into that though (laughs) anyway like subscribe hit the bell and uh, we will see you next time bye